Hello everybody, in this short video we are going to discuss graphemes as they manifest in the written text. This will enable us to know how to transcribe the written text into some symbol they represent. Transcription of the written text into some symbols is not always very easy as some of us make the mistake of using the spellings as guides for our pronunciation. However, the best way we can carry out this task is to look at these letters that are present in any written text, identify the graphemes that are present in the text. Graphemes means a number of letters, either one or more than one, that represent specific sounds in the written text. A number of letters it may be one, maybe two, it may be three, it may be more than three. And these pair together to, cost, to, to, to represent specific sounds in a written text. So for us to be able to transcribe any expression that is written into symbols, we must identify their graphemes. Let's look at this example. W H O R E in the spelling. If we are to pronounce this, how is it to be pronounced? This word is pronounced ho. 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 Now, if this is ho, the word ho contains just two sounds your glottal fricative and your vowel number seven. Or the glottic fricative and vowel number seven. Or looking at this, then how do we identify the sounds and where the sounds are manifest here? Very simple. W H can be taken as a grapheme representing your glottal fricative here. So that means that W H is a grapheme. Then O. R E in the written form. The letter O R E equally represents one sound. So the fact that O R E represents just one sound makes it a grapheme. And so we can say that in the word ho, we have only two graphemes. W H representing your ha sound, the, the glottal fricative sound, O R E representing the power. Number seven, and so you have ho. Ho. Our inability to delineate the written form into specific graphemes that represent a particular sound makes it difficult for us at times to know how to pronounce certain things. It is not hard if we know the graphemes in order to manifest the appropriate pronunciation in any situation. Let's take another example. Let's look at the word bow. Bow. Bow means you know a big a big part of a tree. Bow. But we have here B O U G H. In the word bow, we all know that bow contains only one consonant and one vowel, one dipton, one consonant and a dipton, bow. How then do we identify how, what, what, what are the sounds? How these ones represent the sound? Simple. The letter B here, certainly, stand for the sound, ba, your bilabia plus the voice. That means that O, U, G, H. Making four letters all together, make they, they, they represent the, the vowel, the vowel part of it, which is the deep tones, ow. Ow is the vowel, sing vowel. So that means that O U G H in this case is a graphene, while letter B is equally a graphene. Ability to transcribe effectively demands that we should know the graphing 
that are present in any written test so as to assign to them the sound they represent in any environment. It is very important. So that means that we should try to study the graphemes in the English language representing the sounds in the written form. Vowel having only two sounds but represented by one, two, three, four, five. Represented by five letters. We need to understand this. The word grapheme in this context is an umbrella word. It's an umbrella word. It represents every, it may be whether it is one letter, whether it is two or three letters, so long as they don't represent more than one sound, we refer to them as grapheme. However, it is possible. In some situations, you may find just one letter representing the sound, and so refer to it as a graphene. Another word by which we can identify such letter being only one letter, we refer to it as a monograph. Monograph. Monograph because it is one letter. One letter is a monograph. If it is two letters that represent just one sound, then we call it digraph. Digraph. If it is two letters representing just a sound, we refer to it as a digraph. If it is up to three letters, then we call it trigraph. Trigraph. Tri indicating three. So trigraph, sometimes you find up to three letters. So that is a trigraph. Above trigraph is better described as polygraph. If it is getting to much, then you call it polygraph. Whether polygraph, monograph, digraph, trigraph, we can call them graphing. Any of them can refer to as a graphing, so long as it represents only one sound. So it is good for you to study, try as much as possible. Anywhere you come across a written text, read it yourself, try to identify the points where you can delineate the letters and Identify the sounds they represent in every uh, speech event. Thank you.